In this video I'm going to show you how you can configure a Cisco 1140 series access point with multiple SIDs and VLANs. Um, the primary focus of this video is for the SIDs and the VLANs. I'm not going to be focused on anything else. Um, if you want a basic configuration of a Cisco 1140 series access point, uh, check out my other videos. Okay, so let's head into global configuration mode and create our first SSID. And it's going to be called test open authentication so what we're doing here is obviously just setting the authentication type key management and we use WPA version 2 and then we're going to give it a VLAN so VLAN 100 and give it a pre-shared key ASCII and we'll say 1111 minimum of 8 characters remember and then we're just going to broadcast this. Um, now, slightly different from the standard configuration, you have to use the MBSSID command if you're going to use multiple SIDs on the same radio interface. So we'll do that. And now we're going to create our second SSID. Test 2. Authentication. Open. Authentication. Key management. WPA version 2. And VLAN. Okay, right, now for the interface configuration, so we're going to go into our, first of all, we have to create the sub-interfaces, so we're going to go interface, that's short for dot .11, the shortest way you can pronounce, um, express the dot .11 radio interface, or you can do it like this, D0, I always do it D0. Um, of course we want to do our sub interfaces so we're going to do always try and keep the sub interfaces matching the VLAN ID um, and then we are going to encapsulation.1q and we are going to use 100 that's also my native VLAN administrative VLAN whatever you want to call it and then we are going to give that bridge group 1 the first, the native VLAN. Uh, uh, this is this is my method, and this is what works. The bridge, the the first VLAN, the native VLAN should be bridge group one. That's what works. I've tried it different ways; it doesn't work. It might work for other people, but this is the way that works for me. Um, let's create our second sub interface. Okay, bridge group. Okay, right. Next, what we want to do is we want to create our sub interfaces on the gigabit Ethernet interface. So just basically repeat your commands native and bridge group one again. And then we want to do our 200 Q200 bridge group 200. Okay, next. What we want to do is we want to do .11 SS, oh, no we don't, sorry, we want to go into our main uh, radio interface and what we're going to do is issue the MBS ID command and then we are going to encrypt, we're going to um, apply the encryption commands but this line uh, compared to a standard configuration is different so we want to do VLAN 100 mode ciphering ciphers AES and then just repeat the same for VLAN 200. Then you can enter your SSIDs. So we had test and test 2. And then obviously give it a channel. I'm just going to do channel 16. And then we're going to issue no shutdown. That should bring up our interface as well as our sub interfaces. And now brief. And there you go, the interfaces are up. Obviously, the gigabit Ethernet interface is down. I haven't got the access point plugged into anything. This is merely a demonstration. But that configuration works for me. Um, if you've got any questions, please just leave it in the comments below or inbox me. And remember to subscribe. hope this video has been informative for you. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to save.